Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 2018 Minnesota Duck Hunting Opener. Yesterday it rained all day long, and all the way up into the middle of the night. So instead of driving up to duck camp yesterday, where I would have had to put the tent up and set up camp in pouring rain, I uh, got everything packed up at home. I headed up to Cloquet and spent the night with Melissa. And then this morning, now I left early, and I should be in duck camp this morning, a little bit after 8 o'clock in the morning. As you can see, it's a little bit chilly, 48 degrees. It's really windy outside. When I left uh, the fifth wheel, it was really misting hard. I think most of the rain is supposed to be done for today. Tonight it's supposed to get down maybe into the upper 30s. And up at the tent, they're even talking about possible snow. Not a lot of it, maybe up to an inch. But uh, winter is definitely on its way. My dad, my brother Chris, and my sister-in-law Teresa, they're already up at duck camp. Chris and Teresa went up there Wednesday. Uh, today it's Friday. My dad went up yesterday and he got up there early enough so he could get his camp set up before all the rain really hit up there. Uh, Sarah's coming up later this afternoon, and Zachary, he said he's going to leave his house about 11.30. I suppose that'll put him up there about 3.30 in camp. I'm not sure what time Johan's going to get up there, but uh, usually it's sometime in the afternoon. So the whole crew is going to be there. It should be fun. I've never taken this way to get to duck camp before. Usually I get on 169 and I go north forever. You've got that long stretch between Aiken and uh, Grand Rapids that's so boring. And uh, then I hooked up into number two. Well, now I'm just, just kind of taking me on some windy little single lane roads here. And pretty soon I'll get on number two. But instead of having a three and a half to four hour drive this morning, I'm only on a two hour drive, so that's nice. This rain will be done by the time I get to duck camp. I'm going up over there. Deer River is the last town I go through. Going through Grand Rapids now. through Deer River. Every year when I come up here now and I see that sign, it reminds me of Max the dog. I miss him. He was in my duck boat up here for 15 years. This year up at duck camp is the 61st year that uh, the family's been coming up here and camping in that same spot. Well, this year they have a detour. I called the National Forest Service because Zach had sent me a link to something that said that they were doing work on the road up there and you couldn't get through. And uh, the guy told me, uh, take a right and a left and then another left. Flashing me back to deer hunting last year. Lucky I have my chainsaw in the back.
the sun is actually trying to peek out a little bit. I'm surprised now nobody else has driven through here today and I have not seen a grouse on the road yet. Almost there. Oh, well, there's my dad on his tent. Stop here and talk to Chris and Teresa for a minute before I go unload the boat. Looks pretty much just how we left it. It will look a lot different tonight. Looks pretty chilly out there. raining so hard I had to put everything into plastic bags these big contractor bags like the tent is in this one the wood stove is in there I don't even know one of these has the cook box all right let's go back and set up camp I was just over there talking to Chris and Teresa and my dad for about 20 minutes. I think I'll get the tent set up here and, uh, and then I suppose just start setting up camp. There we go, home away from home is set up. Come over here and take a look at Chris and Teresa's camp.
I really like this style of tent and when I get a different one eventually I want to get one like this. I like how it's more square. I used to not like the poles in the middle but look what they can do and you can hang stuff up. That's one thing you can't do in my tent is hang anything up to dry. This is that new camp kitchen that I got from Zachary. He got it with that uh, pop-up trailer that he got. And he sold the trailer and he doesn't need this. And the camp kitchen that I've used for years up here was really getting run down. So I haven't even opened this until right now. So I'll just, I don't know, <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. So got to be better than the one I had though. That's pretty cool that it has a sink in here. I don't know that I'd use it much up here, but uh, that's a pretty cool feature. It's a lot bigger kitchen than the last one was, that's for sure. I would say that's a pretty cool camp kitchen. It got wet on the way up, so I'm going to leave that open so it can dry out. Two places to hang lanterns, an upper shelf. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. So Chris and Teresa were just out to the duck hunting area and it's totally changed from last year. 
Last year we had all that rice in there and uh, it was hard to paddle through it and it changes from year to year but now he's, they said it is wide open. So I'm going to eat something. I'll find out when Zach's going to be up here. I might run out there myself just to check out and see what it looks like. But uh, yeah, completely different, he said. But they did jump a whole bunch of ducks. It's about 12.20 right now. Zachary just texted me and said he just left. He has three hours till he's up here. At Melissa's work in Superior, Wisconsin. Yesterday was the grand opening, so they had like a party there, and she had to get all these food trays and fruit trays, and anyway, I got to take all the fruit, so I'm gonna have some of that with lunch. I think I'll jump in the canoe and let's go out there and check out my point that I sit on and see what it looks like. Zach and them won't be up here for a while so they can go out themselves later. Look how open that is. Oh, we got some trumpeter swans over here. Last year when you got to this part here, if I were to go straight ahead there, it was really hard to get through. You almost had to pull through it because the rice was so thick. Not this year. So I'm heading to that point right there. As soon as I get past this point of cattails, that wind is really whipping from the right. I don't know if you guys can see this. Tons of ducks. It's so windy here though. Look at all those. All of them are ringbills. That is what's fun about going duck hunting. Just to watch them like that. Check that out. I don't think you guys can probably see that very well. Big flock up there again. Might be a good morning tomorrow. I bet there's 200 ringbills out there. So right in there and on this little point here is where I sit. I want to go around to the other side but it's really windy over there. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see. I keep watching like single ducks come in, circle around and come back out. Well, I think I've seen enough. I'm going to head back. Still a lot of stuff to put into the tent. That's going to be an exciting morning.
I'll be back out here about 4.30 tomorrow morning. Well, all the lanterns are ready for the mantles to be burned down, but I'm going to wait until later tonight when the wind dies down a little bit. Zach just pulled up, so we're going to go unload his uh, canoe, and then he'll be setting up camp. time I didn't realize how brutal it was. Did you have it up here? Yeah. You did. I actually had it for Grandpa this state. I think I'm going to jump in the truck and run over and I just want to walk this one trail that I grouse hunt. I haven't seen anything there for a couple of years, but I'll give it a try. And then I want to make sure I get all my hunting stuff ready tonight before it gets dark. I hate doing that after it's dark, you can't find anything. Well, I just jumped one, but with all the leaves on the trees, I saw nothing.
So I jumped through one grouse, I come around a corner over there and there was a deer maybe 30 feet away and the wind was at my face and it scared the crap out of me and scared the crap out of the deer and it blew and took off. I think I said the same thing last year but when I walked this trail I, that's when I think about Max and I miss him. I wish he was up here. It's nice hunting over a dog, especially with all these leaves. You can't tell if there's anything in here. With grouse numbers so far down, people just aren't hunting them like they used to. This used to be solid, just four-wheeler trail going through here from people going back all the time. Now I can't even tell anybody's walked in here. One time I was hunting this exact same trail, walked all the way in. Actually that year there was a lot of grouse. And um, I was walking out and you don't think you're going to see anything. You get this close, you can see the truck. And I jumped a grouse here on the right hand side. I wasn't ready. You're just kind of, I think I even had my gun already cracked open to pull the shells. And a stupid thing <laughs> landed up on a tree and I ended up shooting it anyway. But uh, yeah, you got to be pretty much ready all the way back to the truck. I'm just going to go up here and turn around and go back to camp. I don't know, hopefully Sarah will be up here pretty soon. Clear out this area? Yep. And then first you can pull in here, you can back in and park right there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's wide enough for a truck right there too. But. I was getting a whole bunch of signals, like over here. Huh. Do you have your pin pointer too? And I dug really deep. Does yours tell how deep it is? No. It, well, it gives me a signal, but I don't know how to read it. Okay. Well, I want to get my shell bag ready. I hate doing that when it's dark out. You just can't find anything that you need. And I got uh, three boxes of four shot in here. My sterno stove and some sterno. My duck calls, which I don't use anymore, but I used to use them all the time. I have a knife in there. I got my hunting license. Well, Sarah texted a little bit ago. She left at 5:45. She says she'll be here in three hours. It's three and a half hours. So six, seven, eight, forty-five. She's not going to get here until probably nine thirty. So, oh well, at least she's coming up. Yeah. yeah. Everything was in there. You hear the clothes. Bacon, cheddar, and onion. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
down a cookie floor and because it's too hot and everything gets burned in there. What's in there? I got a hamburger, a potato, and half an onion. Yeah. That's so you got them trained. God, I'd shoot I one. I, I could say, hey, can air gun them? Yeah. We saw one on the way up here. And you're going to remember that neoprene best of it. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. Oh no. Let's go back in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Huh. I suppose because the farmers are picking, you know, yeah, I don't know. Usually when the moon is full, it's, it's cold. Yeah. 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 And I end up on high five and the one from Walmart. So I just follow it. Yeah. Potatoes and onions are underneath there. Oh yeah. Oh, you just fogged up the whole entire land. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sarah's not going to get up here until, I don't know, maybe 9.30. And she wanted to have, I asked her, do you want me to have some supper ready? She goes, yeah. So anyway, I don't know if I can eat that late. So I want to get these cooked up now and she can just, uh, she'll just have to eat it however it is. These are New York strip steaks. I have uh, smoked chicken for tomorrow's lunch and pork steaks for tomorrow night's supper. I'm putting some Johnny's Hunter's Blend on here right now. I was gonna have had brats and hot dogs, depending on what I wanted, and then I have a steak and another potato. I got lots of potatoes, so. And then uh, that was it. And I figured I'd have leftover hot dogs. Yep, they're done too. Uh, Emily and Jason were over at her house, like this is before all that stuff.
uh, All right, well, Sarah's about a half hour away. Uh, I can't wait any longer. I'm going to go ahead and eat. She should be here soon. Zach went down to the bridge because that's the only place you can call on your cell phone and get service. So he's out there talking to Samantha. And look who decided to show up, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, everyone, well, it's a little bit after 10. Sarah's finally up here. That's awesome. Definitely time to go to bed. My alarm is set for 4 o'clock. We're just getting the last things packed up here. It's nice and toasty in the tent with the wood stove going, and it's definitely bedtime. Good morning everybody. It's a little after 3.30 in the morning. Welcome to the 2018 Minnesota Duck Hunting Opener. Are you little sunshines awake in there? Oh yeah, uh, wide awake, bed aware, <laughs> can't wait. <Still> that far. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, it's four o'clock. Okay. It's time to wake up. So I think what I'm going to do this year is every third duck I'll let go by for you guys. <laughs> Shut up, Joe. <laughs> you know what? Zachary? Zach? Yeah. Hey, it's about 10 after 4. I'm going to head out, okay? Okay. All right, so make sure that I'll go tell Sarah too, but make sure one of you get up, up to get the other one off. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Good luck. I'll see you out there. Good luck. Sarah, it's about 10 after 4. I'm going to head out there, okay? Okay. Zachary's up too, so you guys should get out there as soon as you can. Boat's been going all morning. I made it out to my spot. I got a little worried when I, after I woke up, uh, Sarah was going over to uh, see Chris and Teresa. I seen a truck drive by with a canoe on top, and canoes will easy to get back here. This year, even boats can get back here. So huh, I needed to get out here early. I made it. Nobody's in my spot. 
we should be doing okay. This morning we can shoot at 6.34 in the morning. In a few minutes I'm going to throw a few decoys out and then I'll shove the canoe all the way back in here and it's almost like it's on solid ground. What I'm going to do with my decoys is this is my point right here. So the wind is coming at my back. There's just a little bit of a breeze right now, but it'll probably pick up just before light or right after light. So over here, I'm gonna put a little pocket of decoys with just a little spot that's open where they could land in, just kind of a, kind of a horseshoe. And then out farther, I'm gonna put two goose decoys. And the reason I'm gonna do that isn't so much that they're gonna land there, but there's so much room between this point and that far side, and the ducks tend to go right down the middle and then it's too far out to shoot. Not here, but if you can see way over there is where the uh, other bunch of cattails are. It'll, it'll just make the ducks swing more this way just to kind of check them out as they're going into the bay. So over here I have four teal decoys. There's my point. And there I've just got a line of some mallard decoys that go out, just giving them a line to fly up. Got a few duck butts out. One of my goose decoys didn't have a weight on it, so that's gonna have to do. That Zachary and Sarah right there. There we have Chris off to the right, and the back one has two lights, so that's Johan and Teresa. Looks like we have some other people coming up the river. Lucky I got out here early. Well, I think I'll pull the canoe in there and get all set up.
Well, things are dying down quite a bit now. Sarah and uh, Zachary are out jump shooting. Two geese just flew up the river, flew over, and I don't know if it was Chris or Teresa, but one of them they dropped. I've knocked a few ducks down myself out there. Now just wait for the stragglers to come in for a little while here. I saw them shoot over there. I didn't. I heard them shoot, and I thought I saw a duck hit the water, but I just happened to be looking over there, so I have no clue. You guys do today? You each got one and did I got two coops. Oh, did you? Yep. Oh. The dog was just like constantly out. Really? Because they were shooting so many ducks. They really shot a lot of shells. Yeah. They did. They'd really have a good spot there. Oh, there's two right there. Yeah, they're just past my range and they always are unless it's like full of rice on the other side. It's the same age. Well, at least they both got some ducks too. My dad, he was in the bay by camp. I heard him shoot a few times, so I'm sure he got something also. Sarah said she shot almost a whole box of shells, so you're having a fun time. Well, pretty soon I'm gonna pick up these decoys and I'll head back to camp also. I've got that smoked chicken that I'm gonna cook up for lunch over the fire, so I need to get that in. It's gonna have to be in there for at least an hour, hour and a half. Hey. How'd you do? I got a few. My dad shot a duck out here but didn't have a canoe so we always just bring the dog and goes and gets it for him. Good boy.
This is where my dad sits. Well, it's time to get lunch started. If you guys watched last week on my other channel, I smoked this chicken. It's completely smoked all the way through. I smoked it, threw it in the freezer, and then I uh, took it out and brought it up here. Now it's thawed back out again. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken broth, some carrots, and some smaller potatoes, and some broccoli and cauliflower, and we're gonna put it in, a, in uh, cover it in foil, and then put it over the fire and let it slow cook for a while. This is where the party is. <laughs> That's a nice fire. Yeah. I got lunch on the little tripod thing now, so okay. it should be an hour or so it should be done. So this will be the same as the one you had before, Joe. Yeah. With peppers and stuff. Oh yeah, it's definitely done. It should be good. Yeah. It's making my eyes water. Even the broccoli and stuff got the flavor in it. That was really good. Broccoli turned out great. <sighs> what is it? It's an old can of some sort, but I can see that it's, it has uh, some sort of thing on it still. That's buried pretty deep. Yeah, I'm curious like what it is. It feels really small. <laughs> I don't want to like ruin it, but... Right, you gotta dig more on this side so you can get underneath, I think. Oh, what? Schmidt, Schmidt. beer. <laughs> oh, cool. It's got the old pull tab top on it. I can't believe how much color has stayed on there. Right. What is the picture on it? It's one of the wildlife ones. Oh, it's a pheasant. <laughs> wow, I can't believe this thing is not completely rusted out. That's pretty cool. I'll try to be more careful. That's really deep in there. It is way down there. You're down a foot almost. Yeah. This one has a horse. Oh yeah. And I didn't hit it. It just has rust spots. I can't 
can't believe how deep these are. A, this is almost like a bigger can, like maybe a coffee can, a small one. Mm. This is where the money's at. <laughs> <laughs> That's the money jar right there. They had two beers, put their money in there, and threw it underground. Yeah, I won't be able to read what was in that one. <laughs> beans. <laughs> beans. Everybody had beans over the fire back then. <laughs> yep, that's kind of a cool find. Somebody burying their garbage years ago. Did you get them all cleaned up? Yep. Which one should I put them in? Uh, whichever one has more ice. Just getting everything situated for tomorrow morning so everything is ready to be just put on, picked up, and out to the boat. I don't think I mentioned it that my dad, he packed his stuff and headed home today. He, earlier they were thinking there was going to be rain tonight and tomorrow, and he did not want anything to do with taking down that camp in the rain or being in the tent overnight with the rain because he was up here. Uh, he came up on Thursday, and, I mean, it rained and rained and rained. So, anyway, he packed it up and headed for home. Drop it. Drop it. Do it. Don't drop it. Drop it. Hey! Oh, that, you that started that it. Helps. There you go. Now you're on your own. <laughs> here, just, just drop it. Here. Look it. No, come here. I'm not... So we'll have three. Wow. Yeah. Well, well that'd be a no, like like Two or three inch popple trees. That's where they were. Were they? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. where they always I mean, are. There was, there was yeah. a time when, when Johan says, I just jumped when he's coming towards you. Yeah, I'm sitting in the woods with my gun. I'm watching it. Things flying across. <laughs> right and a girl slowly flies across the trail. It's like, <laughs> what? what are you yeah. Right there. Yohan wasn't even ready. He no. had his gun sitting right there. Where's the tongue? <laughs> he probably has them in his hand or maybe they're on his face. No. Oh, watch that one. Why? 
and you a got, fall you through. You got big squares over there. Oh, so you marinate yours also? Oh, I just I marinate mine and Dale's. That's my favorite. Oh, do you? Dale's is I buy yeah, I buy it on are. Amazon. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're making fun of me now. They're still yeah. moving. These are burnt, according. Uh, we'll just cook two of them and put the other two in, uh, yeah, just put them in a Ziploc. Yeah, when they do it down at Ryan's down there, they just pack it on. They also do smoked pork steaks. Oh, do they really? Yep, and they put that stuff on there. Feels good. This one's okay. This one's still a little harder. Okay, let just shove it in there. Should be done pretty soon. Good.
Okay, everyone. Well, it's 20 minutes after 9. Everybody else has went to bed. It's time for me to crawl into the sleeping bag. I don't know what's going on with the wind. It's picked up now, so I don't know what the weather's going to be like. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, that wind is still up there. It hasn't completely died down. And uh, yesterday morning at 2.30 in the morning, there was cars driving by to go out to get on the lake. I haven't heard one car, you know, boat or truck or whatever this morning. It's 10 minutes to 4 in the morning right now, and I already feel like I need a nap. Sarah, it's a little bit after four, it's time to wake up. Zachary, Zach, Zachary. It's a little bit after four. Okay. It's time to wake up. Okay, I'm up. All right. Sarah? Hi. Hey, it's 20 after 4. <laughs> you cozy in there? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Your coffee cooking. Oh, yeah, we're going. We're alive. <laughs> Their boats are already coming out by now. I know. I haven't heard a peep out of them either. I don't think many people are going out today. I don't either. That, yeah. little, bit, that little bit of wind isn't going to be fun. I'm gonna take off, okay? Okay. So I'll see you guys when you guys canoe by. Okay. Well, I made it out to the point here. I have still yet to hear one boat go out this morning. Well, I'm all tucked back into my spot here. There is a breeze this morning. It's a better wind than what was yesterday. This is out of the northeast. East is perfect for this spot. But the bad news is that there's actually a breeze and it's only 447 in the morning, so it's going to get windy out today. No decoys today. Um, like I said, no boats that have come out yet, so it's the ducks aren't going to be flying around. Sunday is never the best day, but if there aren't a bunch of hunters to push the ducks around, it can be really slow. stand up that wind is coming in pretty good but down here with these cattails and everything it's almost like a like a wall protecting me from the wind well, 
it's about 15 minutes until shooting time. It's really overcast today. I haven't heard any ducks fly over yet, so we'll have to see what happens. What a difference from yesterday. So slow. Hardly any hunters went out. Uh, hardly any ducks flying around. Yesterday I shot 30, about 30 times. And today I shot twice. Hit the duck on the first shot and it looked like it was winged so I shot it again on the way down. Other than that I haven't shot at all. I probably won't stay out here too much longer. Got to break camp possibility of rain this afternoon.
did. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it was so cool. Was it? Yeah. Ducks all teal? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, even a green wing. Nice. I think they're all, they're green, all green wings. wings. There's some people in the back, oh, on the back side of them also that weren't there yesterday. Oh, really? And they were yeah. shooting too? Yeah. There's more people coming out of the um, landing today. No, it was definitely overcast and that wind was picking up. The whole thing, yeah. That that was, it wasn't bad because I got here early that day, you know? So it wasn't bad. Well, everybody got some shooting today. Nobody got any ducks. Nobody got very much shooting. Chris only shot, I think, two or three times. I shot two times. Uh, Zach did the best with his triple with one shot. Johan got a duck. I think Teresa got a duck also. Now it's time to break camp and head south. Oh yeah, they make the one that's the 12 by 12 of that one. Yeah, so, yeah, with like the four foot high walls, I yep. think, but it's still like 800 bucks. They are expensive. expensive. I'm, I'm gonna go hook up the trailer and bring it over here because then we can just toss that right on there.
Zachary's camp is all cleaned up. And he's all ready to head home. Everything is packed up and ready to go here. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. See you later. See you guys on the next video.